Hello, hello, hello. It's Nets for Sanity and welcome to day eight of my holiday celebration with Happy Mermaid Yarn. I know this is day seven. That's because our fun began November 30th. So it's for December 7th, but it's day eight of our holiday celebration. And today in our holiday facts and tidbits, how many of you have seen a Christmas story with little Ralphie, your typical suburban kid? Probably most of you watching this have indeed seen this movie. Came out way back in 1983 already. Um, well, this may surprise you to learn, but as far as top 10 grossing movies, A Christmas Story doesn't come anywhere near to that list. However, Peter Billingsley, who was the star, he was Ralphie, he did make an appearance in one of the top 10 grossing films of all time for holiday movies. Which movie was that? Well, I'll tell you when we get to that movie on the list. So, top 10 highest grossing films. The 10th It's a movie called Four Christmases. It came out in 2008 and it grossed $120.1 million. I've never seen this movie, so I can't tell you anything about it other than I understand it's about a couple trying to make it to all their different parents' because, you know, divorced parents' and that's about all that I know. I haven't seen it. Number nine, A Christmas Carol, the 2009 version, grossed $137.9 million. I think I saw that one once. Number eight, The Santa Claus 2 came out in 2002. It grossed $139.2 million. This is a movie I typically watch every year. Still enjoy this one. Number seven, The Santa Claus, the original, which came out in 1994. Did you know there were eight years between the first and the second? Anyway, the original grossed $145.5 million, another Christmas classic in my household. We watch that one almost every year. Number six, Home Alone 2, came out way back in 1992 already. That movie is 30 years old this year. It has grossed $173.6 million. Number five, and this is the movie that Peter Billingsley made an appearance in, is Elf. You know, that super fun Will Ferrell movie? This is another one that we watch pretty much every year in our household. That movie came out in 2002, so that's already 20 years old, and grossed $176.6 million. And if you're having trouble placing where Peter Billingsley was in this movie, he was Ming Ming, the toy-making supervisor in Santa's workshop. So watch that movie again and keep your eye out for him. Number four, The Polar Express came out in 2004, the same year I was married. It grossed $187.9 million. Now, I have a confession, and this is probably not going to be well liked. I don't care for that movie. Go ahead, blast me away with all of your ill comments about how unholiday-ish that is of me, but I really don't care for that movie. Number three, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the 2000 version. I don't know if I've seen this one, to be honest with you, but it's the third highest grossing holiday movie of all time at $260.5 million. Number two, The Grinch from 2018. I tried watching this one, but I had a tough time getting into it. Benedict Cumberpatch, which I normally really, really like. So maybe I need to try watching it again. Maybe I just was like in the wrong state of mind. Anyway, number two highest grossing film for holidays of all time at $271.1 million. And what is the number one highest grossing holiday film? It also happens to be our oldest film on this list created and came out all the way back in 1990 grossing over 285.8 million dollars is home alone another absolute classic in our house we watch this movie every single year what are some of your favorite holiday movies that maybe were not on this list i'll tell you another one of my favorites christmas in connecticut Super old movie from the 50s, but it's fantastic. My husband and I try and watch that one every year. We love that movie. All right, so for day seven, let's open this up and see what color I got today. See what color I got today. I'm awful excited. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, it's more beautiful green sparkles. I'm so happy. Oh, look, look, look. And oh, I got my charm. Yay. I noticed someone else got a charm like on day three and I didn't get anything on day three and I was kind of sad. But look, I got it. I got my, my little Christmas tree charm. It's so cute. And of course, the mint that I will be eating as soon as this video is done. I kid you not. I get done and I eat these mints. And another absolutely beautiful green sparkle yarn. Look how beautiful that is. They're calling this one Farm Fresh Trees. And in case you're new to this, I selected to have sparkle yarn with my advent kit all the way back in June when I had to pre-order this. It is a 70% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina blend, 87 yards, 20 grams, and it is a two-ply fingering weight yarn. Oh, these happy mermaid ladies are amazing! Guys, seriously, if you are not into knitting or crochet or something involving yarn, you will be. Like, buy some of their yarn and you will start up a new craft. I pretty much guarantee it because their yarn is that amazing. All right. So like I always say, please practice kindness, especially around the holidays. You never know what someone is going through. So just be kind. And in return, I hope you're showing the same kindness. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon.